Just talking about dumb shit all the time. It just kind of happened, you know, so. With my back pocket and my beer in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> in this very special episode on Banana Labs, I share with you guys my collaborative process with another artist and a dear friend of mine who I started a music project with about four years ago called Pyramids. But let's just get there, huh? Today we're here with my friend Sven. We have a uh, music project together called Pyramids, which you can check out. I'll leave a link in the bio. Self-promotion, self-promotion, yada, 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 look at us. Uh, we also have a friend who's in the project as well, Daniel Hurado. Yeah, or, man. I shouldn't pronounce his last name because I sound like an uneducated racist. So today we're gonna be working on some new music for Pyramids. <laughs> Ben, I saw a, a live stream of you about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Yeah. I had commented and said like I liked a particular part. Is that correct? I believe so, yes. yes. That's correct. I thought it'd be a good idea to write a song, you know what I mean? Kind of, what's the word? Like just uh, craft a song based off of a small part that I was jamming to, right? Right, yeah. What he said. We don't put that much music out with Pyramids. Uh, we have our own projects going on. He has, now you know, Ambient Light and, and oh, well, his YouTube channel, of course. So we hardly get to like write music together. So anyway, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Music that you would say pyramids is is like anything from indie to dream pop and like a little bit of neo psychedelia so stuff like Tame Impala. That is correct. But for this new material that we're gonna be working on, I sort of want to go towards a shoegaze. If you've listened to pyramids, maybe it's all right. We kind of get a little shoegazy, but we don't really go full on shoe shoegaze. So maybe with this song, we could finally do that. I wanted to sound different two songs ago. It was more of a digital sounding, right? As far as the drums go, I don't remember. Talking about our biggest song, the TikTok hit, Don't Quit. <laughs> So when I was messing around with this idea during the live stream, I, I usually have my acoustic in an open tuning, and right now I'm missing a high E string. Uh, Got it. <laughs> but the tuning would be D, A, D, F sharp, A. And that kind of just opens up like chords so you can do easy stuff like... Stuff like that. I think when Will was trying to figure something out, he was being a little lazy with it and had a different <laughs> tuning going on. I only heard the drop D. <laughs> So, uh, I just heard like... And then I heard something like... But that, those notes that I'm seeing, those vocal melody notes... Da, 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 da. That still works with what you originally planned. You mentioned you had um, like four different parts, right? Originally when you were write, yeah. writing the song. Yeah, we have a pacing. bunch of different chord progression ideas. So we're basically just trying to figure out what should go where and what order and all of that stuff. Especially too, because Will needs to like get vocal ideas from each part. So they need to be certain measures here, certain measures here. And we want like a good flow throughout the entire song as well. So that's always important. The vocal melody that I heard, it's basically the same vocal melody. I just kind of change it towards the end, you know, because it's still like, it reminds me of a Wild Nothing song. But it also reminds me of Fool on the Hill by the Beatles. Oh. So whatever Will heard when he was watching my live stream sparked an idea and that's kind of like the great reason why collaborating with other people is awesome because they hear something you won't hear and vice versa and that's how you, you end up having great ideas and great yeah. songs. <laughs> Yeah, I love that ending. Thanks, Alejandro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love that. It, I'm, I'm so glad it still works because I didn't have to rearrange anything. It still fell in place. Yeah. It's I 
down and then harmonies uh, too right yeah right. and then once yeah. we're done with that that's what we could give to Dan and he could start brainstorming uh, drum Trump ideas parts. and all that the last time we released a song was last year Dan was the one who started off that song by yeah. sending you a drum loop that he recorded on his iPhone yeah and that's yeah, yeah. what actually made it made itself its way into the actual song for the final version plenty of things one of the songs that we released last year yeah the drums were recorded just with an iPhone process of you recording the bass on your channel as well. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Marijuana affects the memory. But yeah, anyway, that's the direction that I kind of want to go. And you're more experienced in that sort of genre. Like, I'm still kind of new to a lot of things and like the bands that you guys request for me to write a song like, I've never really heard their music. So that's really cool because I'm getting introduced to new music. But yeah, I've never really dabbled into like the shoegaze world. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm huge on Smashing Pumpkins and obsessed with like Slow Dive and I like MBV but like I'm not obsessed with them but stuff like the Pumpkins and Slow Dive is just my jam, yeah. Hey, stay posted here in the lab so you can see an update on how the Pyramid song is coming along. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out Pyramids on all streaming platforms. You can also follow my friend Steven, aka Sven, at Now You Know on Instagram. And check out his YouTube channel called Now You Know. He also has another music project called The Ambient Light. And I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>